Hey George, how are you today? I'm fine, Jerry. Ask me what I'm up to. It's probably something musical, isn't it? See, people, that's why we call her genius. As much as I like to play musical instruments, I also there's something beautiful and wonderful and warm about making and fixing musical instruments. This also applies to tools. I don't know why, but it's really a great thing to make and fix tools. Musical instruments as well. The challenge came up recently at the Sri Atmananda School. How can the band there make a PVC instrument that covers a lot of different pitches but still doesn't take all year to make? And the answer, there are a lot of answers, but the answer that came to me is the droot or flum. This is a combination <laughs> of a flute and a drum. And uh, I think I invented it. There's probably a bunch of other people who invented it too, but here's how it works. And you can make one too. It's very easy and fun and flum and droot. All right. Here's some big pieces of 10 foot PVC. What we found out when the class went down to Lowe's to buy these is that a big 10 foot piece of PVC, when you bang on it, makes a pitch A. So I drew A right there so that I'd remember that. And then I drew a hole in it and banged it again and it made more or less a B. And that's kind of, you know, drilled a bunch of holes. And when they didn't make pitches, I half filled them in. and. And George, is well, there any way to calculate out where to put the holes if you get a few of the notes already figured out? You know, there is. But I am, you know, you can do the math or you can be empirical. Either one is great. And I like empirical, and I don't mind sticking masking tape all over things. Uh, a couple of interesting things I found out, Jerry. One is duct tape shifts the pitches just fine. So if this is a little bit flat, Move your duct tape up and, and change the pitch. Oh, I'll show you how to trigger the pitches. This is the fun part. I haven't showed you this yet. But one thing I found out is you can half tape up these holes and it'll adjust your pitch. And that means that in your second version, you can put the hole here where it actually goes. The other thing we found out at Lowe's is it doesn't matter what the diameter of the pipe is. Um, it's always 10 feet equals A. So that was pretty fun to find out. Now here is the genius part. This is a half piece of PVC. I just used a, a saber saw to cut a piece in half. I put a handle on it with duct tape. And down at this end, there's a little slidey part, which goes up and down. And uh, it's, it's not actually duct tape touching the inner PVC. There's like a split pipe and the duct tape's holding that shut. Now watch how we trigger it. This is fun. You ready? Yeah, put a foot on there and go like this. Oh, so you're just pushing that half piece over the holes, so exposing yeah. one of the, the note holes? This is everything right down to the end, see? Is that cool? <laughs> so, uh, what it does is uh, the length of the pipe from here to the other end is resonating. And this part with all the holes in it isn't resonating because it's just a, a mess. There's no simple math to it. So when I go down like this, it covers up that G hole and only leaves the F hole open. So it's effectively a piece of pipe. This law, uh, so I'm not even in screen. It's effectively a piece of pipe that runs from the edge of this hole all the way down to the other end. And I tried it with the end open and I tried it with the end closed and it really sounds a lot better with both ends open. And that's my story. That's the Droot. Build yourself one today. George, that's pretty cool. It looks like a great workout driving that thing back and forth and trying to slam it down. Oh yeah. Is it difficult oh, that you ever get your fingers caught in that? Not yet. <laughs> but uh... The night is young, Jerry, the night is young. <laughs>